Good morning, this is Keith. And I'm Dennis. And it's time for a special midweek installment of your East High Eagle Eye Report. As you meet with your counselors, keep in mind all of the art classes we offer here at East High. You have a unique opportunity after taking studio and art to learn new skills and try new materials through all of the courses our art department offers. Here are some final pieces by Ms. Donlin's drawing and painting students. These are portraits created on cardboard and exposing the corrugation. Students used Conta Crayon to create value and skin tones. Enjoy the artwork and remember to sign up for the classes you want to take next year. On Valentine's Day, our TLI juniors and seniors collaborated with literacy students from the U of R to bring the love of reading to first graders at School 33. It was an amazing experience for everyone involved. Last month, our lower school of math department hosted a SEP gallery walk in the atrium. The focus of the SEP was to create an art piece with, which displayed the four geometric transformations and the writing component in the claim, evidence, analysis, conclusion, format. format. What a wonderful way to showcase our scholars' hard work and great efforts. Hey, East, come on and check out the Lower School Synergy Quilt hanging outside D209. Each Lower School Scholar and Karen made a contribution to the fabulous quilt by designing their own patch to add to the diversity of the piece. What a way to synergize Lower School! The day before we ended, headed out for our week-long February break, the Lower School enjoyed a celebration of learning. They began their afternoon with a wonderful award ceremony hosted by some of our Lower School Lighthouse Scholars. Scholars received awards for being tenacious, thinking purposefully, advocating for self and others, honor roll, perfect attendance, and super support stars. There was also a Soaring Eagle Literacy Award. Following the awards assembly, scholars were treated to an energy-filled pep rally with the help of our upper and lower school lighthouse scholars. Everyone rocked out to the beats of DJ Fields and competed in fun games emceed by Mr. Blanding. What a way to kick off your February break lower school. The Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity presents the 2018 Seda Omicron 57th Talent Show with cash prizes for each category, dance, drama, and instrumental. This great opportunity takes place Sunday, March the 18th, 4 to 6 p.m. here at East High's Cavalier Auditorium. Questions? Cocktail Labon, Richards at 747-1020. During February break, East scholars participated in the East Ac Academy for English Language Learners. Scholars visited the George Eastman House and Museum, the Susan B. Anthony Museum, as well as the Frederick Douglass exhibit as the, at the Rochester Museum and Science Center. Scholars investigated the lives of these three historical Americans in order to make written and oral presentations claiming who made the great, greatest con contribution to American society. It was hard work and fast moving, but scholars succeeded, and it was good practice for social studies and ELA regents exams. Congratulations to all participants. Attention freshmen and sophomores. Are you interested in science or any of the STEM fields? Would you like to go to the US Science Festival in Washington, DC? See Mr. Ferguson in the College Prep Center, room F116, to find out more about this upcoming trip. And now for your SAT, ACT question of the day. See Mr. Ferguson in the CBC if you know the answer. Any student who answers correctly before the end of the day will, enter in a, will be entered in a raffle to win college swag. Here's today's questions. When x equals 3 and y equals 5, by how much does the value of 3 times 3 minus 2y exceed the value of 2 times 2 minus 3y? Did you know the graduates of the Rochester Institute of Technology have been involved in the making of Frozen, Rio 2, The Simpsons Movie, and other hit animated films. An RIT representative will be here on Friday to speak to East students about their school. 
see your counselor in the CPC to sign up to attend their informational session. Hey Dennis, what's 10 times 100? A thousand. What's 10 to the third power? Again, a thousand. How many points did Senior Jamoni Cole score in her basketball career here at East High School? I'm going out on a limb here, but I'm going to say 1,000. You are correct. Jamoni scored her 1,000th career point against the Northeast Northwest Panthers at a game here at East High School on February 12th. Luckily for us, our e Eagle Eye Sports Television production crew was there to capture this momentous occasion. Attention East, next Wednesday, March 14th, the Stunden government will be hosting a rally against gun violence in memory of those who have lost their lives as victims of gun violence. The rally will be held during upper school family group. We will meet in the forum room to hold a moment of silence for those who lost their lives at Marguerite Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida. And then we will walk in solidarity around the East Campus. We hope you will join us speaking out against gun violence did you know that March is Music in Our Schools Month? The purpose of Music in Our Schools Month is to raise awareness of the importance of music education for all children and to remind citizens that school is where all children should have access to music. This year's theme is Music Connects Us. Music has a profound and positive effect on our community and has the potential to make us feel connected to all of humanity. The more we use music to bring us together literally and figuratively, the more potential for increased empathy, social connection, and cooperation. Be on the lookout for celebrations all month long and be sure to tell your family and friends the importance of music in our school. For special events taking place this week, please see Mr. Weber. And now for your words of wisdom. Our world is changing rapidly. Some people would describe the times as turbulent, which means disturbed. Disturbed about international relationship, relations, terrorism, gun control, crime, war. Former President John F. Kennedy shares these words of wisdom. In a time of turbulence and change, it is more than ever that knowledge is power. Every day at East, you have the opportunity to increase your knowledge and therefore increase your power in the world. In a rapidly changing world, we need a bright and powerful people who make a positive difference. And remember, we have the power to change the world each time. Now let's get to work.